playing Roblox since I was four years old, and that was in 2009, and I'm literally turning 18 soon. Therefore, I've been playing Roblox for about 14 years of my life. That's a long time. I literally feel ancient. I am literally a Roblox fossil. But anyways, today I'm going to be exploring my first ever Roblox account and also unlocking core childhood memories by playing nostalgic Roblox games. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is my current Roblox account. The name is Cinderbell and it was created on March 4th, 2013. Being nine years ago. Oh my God, my mic just fell. So yeah, my current Roblox account is literally nine years old. Probably the same age as some of you guys watching this video. That is literally crazy. But anyways, the story doesn't start here. It starts with Destiny Hope 11, my first ever Roblox account. I created this on March 26, 2009. Oh my gosh, I was even younger? Hold up. I just put my age, guys. And on the day I created this account, I was literally about to turn four years old. Because my birthday was on March 28th. So basically, I created this account when I was three. I mean, but, I mean, it was basically four. But like, this is even crazier. Like, I've been playing Roblox for literally so long. But anyway, I started playing Roblox because of my sister. And my sister started playing because of my brother. I don't know. We were just passing on to each other the love for Roblox. Even though I was only three slash four years old, I literally remember going on my mom's old Dell desktop, going and playing Roblox and being an online dater. At literally four years old. Like, what the heck? But yeah, I remember my brother would come home from school and he would play Roblox with his friends. So yeah, I think my brother started playing Roblox in like 2006 or 2007. But to confirm that, I want to see when Roblox was actually created. So according to Google, Roblox was created on September 1st, 2006. Therefore, my brother probably joined the same year or 2007. I'm not really sure what my brother's username is because he actually sold his account a couple of years ago because he's old now. So like he doesn't use Roblox and he had a lot of limited. So he wanted some money. I don't know if that's allowed in TOS, but like, you know, sorry for exposing you, bro. But yeah. But anyways, when you guys check the dates, my sister actually created her first ever Roblox account a month before me. She created her account on February 25th, 2009, and mine was created a month later. It's literally crazy. But anyways, now that the story about my birth in Roblox, literally, almost my birth, I was literally a child. I was a fetus. But since that's explained, I have to actually research my account and roast myself. My child self. But anyways, here's my account. I have 2,000 followers. This is because of the videos where I've done exposing my Roblox messages and visiting old game videos. Go check those out after this one. But anyways, the last time I was online on this account was 13 years ago. Oh my god. And you want to know how this happened? So I was dumb and I changed my account password and I guess I didn't write it down so I completely forgot. I didn't put a phone number or email or anything because I was literally like three years old. Yeah, I was literally three or four. So I didn't have none of that. So I lost that account forever. And that's why I created my current one. But yeah, my bio is literally I hate math. And it's funny because I actually kind of like math. But I hate it at the same time. You know, it's a love-hate relationship. But anyways, here are my badges and here are my groups. As you can see, I was a huge hardcore One Direction lover. Look, I love One Direction. One Direction fans. One Direction biggest fans ever. One Direction lovers. Zayn Malik lovers. Literally, I used to simp. I used to simp for these men. Specifically, Zayn Malik and Harry, of course. And Liam. Looking at this group, it has a lot of members. Zayn Malik is how I joined this group. Think he is stupid and useless and bad singer? You hate One Direction. Get the heck out. Okay. But you guys can see the group chat was last posted in 2012. Oh my gosh, look at the avatars, guys. These avatars, I think these people just stopped playing Roblox fully because look at their avatars. These are literally old Roblox avatars. Like, this is how people would customize their avatar back then. Look at this. Back then, rich avatars looked like this. We saw this and we were like, oh my god, I want to be that. Oh my god, this looks like Sunlight 723, the girl that stole my Roblox boyfriend. Anyways, let's go back. So, I'm gonna show you guys Roblox items. I literally used to own so many limiteds. I used to be rich. I mean, rich back then was poor now that makes sense yeah i haven't been on this account in 13 years so these are like the last things i ever bought so here we have all these hats these were from events i literally remember playing this it was like i don't know it kind of reminded me of ninja turtle i don't know what the heck that is. and then we have the cuddly koala literally a lot of people play this look at this 2010 roblox visor the kid ears and the ribbon literally back then on roblox there was no hair okay on roblox the only way to distinguish whether a person
person was a girl or a boy. It was with ribbons, okay? So everybody were bald icons on Roblox back then. This is what girls look like, okay? They were bald with ribbons. And if they didn't have ribbons, then you thought they were guys. Anyway, let's go to the hair. These are the classic Roblox hairs. All of these. This one is horrendous. It reminds me of a squirrel. The bacon one is way better. But anyway, oh my god, this one looks like a mop. This looks like my mac and cheese when I cook it wrong. But yeah, the one I would mostly always use was actually the cinnamon hair, aka this one. Literally so nostalgic. Before we go into game, I'm gonna quickly show you guys clothing. Here are the Roblox clothing. And of course, I have a One Direction leotard. But anyways, as you guys can see, most of the clothes I would purchase was from Miss Mudman. Literally, Jockey, Paper Mousy, Miss Mudman, Dutchies. They were literally the trendsetters of Roblox. They literally carried the Roblox fashion industry or whatever you want to call it. Most of my designs like by them and like most people would just wear their stuff. The fact that this is literally from 2011 and looks like this is actually insane. Like this is so well made considering it being 2011. Actually insane. But anyways, talking about Roblox fashion, you know, one of the ones I mentioned, Miss Mudman, she actually follows me on Twitter and I recently messaged her saying that like, oh my gosh, I've been wearing your Roblox clothes since I was literally a baby and she was like super flattered and like saying that she's proud of me so i was like oh my god Okay. Anyways, now I'm going to be going through my favorite Roblox places or experiences, whatever you guys want to call it. But anyways, now I'm going to be going through my favorite Roblox places or experiences or whatever, and we're going to be seeing them. The first one we're going to be playing is the Iron Cafe. Iron. Iron. I don't even know. Whatever. But yeah, this game, the Iron Cafe, is literally one of the most iconic Roblox games and like one of the most historic ones. Literally the whole Rick Roll thing. I feel like this is where it kind of originated because everybody like would be playing the song. As you can see by the graphics and everything, this is probably older than you. But yeah, it's basically a cafe. People would go here and chat. But anyways, next game. The next game is going to be Lando's Apartment. I'm showing you guys this game mostly for the whole structural vibes. Honestly, though, this game is actually really well made considering it was made in 2010. So here we have like the old Roblox stairs. I'm unlocking memories right now. In one of the rooms, there's going to be a poster for a play with a green witch. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, so I'm trying to find the room because I know what I'm talking about. I remember. I, unless I'm thinking about a different game. Okay, so to be honest, I think they must have updated this game or it's a different one, but I do remember that. I'm not crazy. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so these ones I cannot join, but I just want you guys to look at the icon. But like this game, you would just go drive around and stuff. And then over here, oh my gosh, this game. I used to remember playing this with my sister all the time growing up. I'm gonna check it. Oh my gosh, this game is literally the same as it was. I feel so old playing this. This is the old Roblox rocket like look how bad this is it's literally a block but it can kill oh my god my hand okay but anyways next game the next game i'm gonna quickly check out is the winx club game oh my gosh i used to play this so much but anyways as you can see by the map this is literally so old look at the trees it's literally a ball on a like a i don't know with a stick and then over here we have the more i used to love to watch the winx club i want to be flora ah! what the <laughs> i mean i still look cute i guess Oh, by the way, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. I mean, if you're still watching, it means you like it, so do it now. Bruh, chick. But anyways, there's a website called Wayback Machine, and it basically shows you how websites look back in the years. So, I went to Roblox, and basically this shows how many players would literally play Roblox. So, as you can see, Roblox was at its peak, basically this year slash 2020. But anyways, I'm gonna be checking the day I joined Roblox. This is what Roblox looked like back then. Oh my god, the highest player count on Roblox was 402. See? Desert Attack! Look, guys, this was the one I was talking about and that I showed you guys earlier. I would play this literally all the time oh my gosh guys this was roblox in 2010 oh and back then premium didn't exist it was called builders club but yeah as you guys can see i've been playing roblox for literally such a long time and literally if it weren't for my sister i probably wouldn't be here today playing roblox and making videos for all of you guys so i'm literally so grateful for everything and for allowing me to create content and entertaining all of you guys and make you guys smile and i shall continue playing roblox even when i am an old woman i think <laughs> but anyways I love you guys so much. Like and subscribe. You're so sweet, Bye.